Don't underestimate the strategic role your accounts payable team plays in the financial success of any organization. One mistake and millions of unrecoverable dollars could go right out the door. After spending the last 25 years interviewing experts, controllers, accounting professionals, and countless accounts payable professionals focused on best practices, I've learned a thing or two about what makes the function, the accounts payable function work and what makes it break down. It's like a baseball team. When every player knows their role and works together, they're unstoppable. But when even one player lets an opponent steal home, the whole game can fall apart. The obvious role. The team processes invoices, making sure all the organization's bills are paid. This basically keeps the lights on, employees provided with tools and resources they need to do their jobs, and keeps manufa any manufacturing facilities you may have operating. And there are literally hundreds of ways that this can go wrong. Many think that this is what the accounts payable team does, and that's it and they are partially correct. But paying invoices is just the tip of the iceberg. So what else do they do? Stick around and prepare to be amazed. The next role I wanna talk is their protector of the financial health role. The accounts payable team plays a strategic role in the financial health of the organization. How? Let me give you a few ways they do that never reaches the radar of others, but without it, the bottom line would be in tatters. Example number one, the accounts payable team has become the biggest target for fraudsters looking to defraud your company. And we're not talking about petty fraud. We're talking about submitting phony invoices for hundreds of thousands of dollars while impersonating existing vendors. Think it's easy to sort those out? No, it's not. Taking over executives' emails and ordering rush wire transfers to entities with no business connection. Another thing that's not so easy to figure out and more. Along the same line, example number two, they must be continually on alert for new frauds. When they occur, they need to recognize them and then adjust procedures so there is no chance of a future fraud of this type slipping through. Example number three, they are now dealing with a huge new headache that didn't exist a few years ago, and it has the potential to cost organizations everywhere millions of dollars. I kid you not. Many suppliers now send multiple copies of the same invoice, neglecting, and they also, some of them, some of them, neglect to return duplicate payments. The team has to weed out the duplicate copies, which is not as simple as you might think. Sometimes, conniving vendors also change the invoice numbers, making it difficult, but definitely not impossible to catch. Okay, let's move on and talk about the vendor relations role your accounts payable team plays. For many organizations, especially manufacturing and distributors, maintaining good relations with the vendor community is critical, and accounts payable is part of that effort, although their work in this regard is frequently completely disregarded. They walk a fine line making sure suppliers are happy while not overpaying them or allowing them to take advantage of the organization. And believe me, many try. While most of the supplier community is quite reasonable, inevitably there are a few who are anything but that. This means cajoling some of the most arrogant and disrespectful people on the face of the earth. It means not paying them early, not paying them too much, and getting the necessary IRS reporting information that's required, and at the same time, keeping these suppliers happy. Think this is easy? It's not. Let's now move on and talk about the data analyst role your accounts payable team play. One of the things that we've known for a long time is that accounts payable has access to a lot of data. Like many other business applications, being able to access the large amounts of data has gotten easier and more affordable over the last few years. The accounts table payable team have been able to extract large amounts of data from the database of payments and operation. This allows them to focus on areas for improvement and also fine tune their, fine -tune their operations and identify potential frauds. In fact, one accounts payable professional shared that when their CFO needed information or data, rather data, he came to accounts payable. This might be the biggest overlooked area in accounts payable right for making tons of progress
progress in the future. I'll address this in greater detail a little further on when I discuss the collaborative role of accounts payable. Next, let's move on and talk about the technology leader role your accounts payable team plays. Now, many listening probably don't look at their accounts payable team as leaders in the area of technology, but let me explain what I mean. What is the first function that is getting automated within your organization? For many, the answer will be invoice processing. There are numerous companies creating all sorts of automation products for the business community, and many of them are focused directly on accounts payable. And they're getting a lot of venture capital money thrown at them, so there's even more coming to market. What's more, these products are focused on accounts payable and for the most part are remarkably affordable. What this means is that the professionals who manage the accounts payable function have had to learn about these products and in many cases have worked closely with the service provider to integrate the product into the existing workflow and ERP. They've had then to work with the supplier community to get them to utilize the solution. Don't think for one minute this is easy. It is not. But this experience is invaluable and smart companies take advantage of that of everything that these professionals have learned and utilize these professionals in other automation efforts. Okay, finally, we're gonna to get to the collaborative role. As mentioned above, the professionals who have in implemented an automation solution within the accounts payable function are well positioned to help other departments as they go through similar automation challenges over the next few years. But the bigger collaborative role should come for many when they marry the data analytics that they are able to extract from the accounts payable data with the requirements for other departments. They can provide the data purchasing needs to negotiate better pricing for the company, update the budget team when it looks like someone is getting close to or exceeding their budgetary limits for the uh, given fiscal period, and they can provide data for all sorts of special projects required by management and your board of directors. And of course, when we're talking about accounts payable, we have to talk about the regulatory compliance role. Imagine this, the IRS hits your company with a big tax bill, and when your tax experts try and negotiate it, the IRS tells them that the company has a history of non-compliance and they don't want to hear your appeal. What? Imagine how livid your board would be. Now, making this matter even uglier, imagine the tax department has been following the letter of the law when it comes to paying your taxes. What could have gone wrong? You know those annoying 1099s companies are required to file with the IRS every year? Too often, when companies get small fines to the, from the IRS for mistakes on, on 1099s and everybody gets them, they simply pay the fine rather than hire a lawyer to fight the penalty or even better, they send their accounts payable employees, at least one, but maybe more, to a course to learn how to file correctly and or fight these penalties. Yes, some well-trained accounts payable employees know how to deal, how to do that, and they do it successfully for their organization. Unfortunately, not dealing correctly with 1099s can earn you a bad tax compliance reputation with the IRS. That's why many forward-thinking companies allow time and resources, which frankly are not a lot, for their accounts payable staff to learn how to handle all the regulatory items correctly. And these issues are only expanding as time goes on. Are you surprised at all the different ways accounts payable contributes to the financial well-being and overall operability of your organization? Well, you shouldn't be. To work in or manage an accounts payable function, there are actually 107, that's right, 107 different topics that someone needs to be knowledgeable about. Do you know what they all are? Many don't. So we did a talk detailing them all, which you can watch right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description.